2009, the crowdfunding website Kickstarter had its first successful project. The total amount raised $35. The money paid to create a small piece of art called Drawing for, drawing for Dollars. As of this morning, users have pledged over $1 billion. They fund things like music, an Oscar-winning film, and the first telescope headed for space that donors can use. Yancey Strickler is the CEO and co-founder. Welcome. Thanks for having me. Hey, yeah. Yeah. What kind of ideas do you really believe work best and that funding will deliver for? Well, it's a, it's a site of very diverse ideas. It's everything from movies to video games to restaurants to quilts to pieces of design. It's pretty much anything that springs from the human imagination. And we've seen mm -hmm. things all across the board come to life. Mm -hmm. So to date, it's been about six million people have supported projects that mm -hmm. do just about anything you can imagine. Is it often a first course or, or a last resort? for people seeking funding? I think it's a mix. I mean, I think at this point now, Kickstarter has become such a household word, and especially in the creative communities, that people are looking to use it. It's a great opportunity to get an idea out there in the world and really broadcast it across the internet and get people around the world to be a part of it. So when you put up a project, you're building a community of people who are helping to make it happen. I guess one of the most fascinating things about this is that people are giving without any financial return or yeah, reward right. expected. Right. I yes. mean, this is just giving your money, you know, right. in very small amounts by people who don't have a lot of money. Why can't there be, or why didn't you want it to have any sort of financial return if that business really takes off? Well, the way we normally think about ideas now, especially the past 30, 40 years, is that only ideas that have the potential to make someone else money are the ones that tend to get funded. Mm -hmm. But did you just have something that you're excited about, that you think would be cool, that you would just like to see exist? There hasn't really been an option available. So we wanted Kickstarter to be this place where ideas happen just because people want them to. You don't have that other component of, is this a good business model or something like that. Now, many of these projects do go on to become working businesses or make yeah. money or like a restaurant that'll survive for years. But the initial inspiration is just simply to make something. And so we see something very beautiful in that. Psychic income. Yeah, sure. I mean, just a, wanting it to exist should be reason enough. It shouldn't have the need to make money for somebody else. That's what's so cool about what you do, because the imagination can take you to so many places. For instance, I can't believe that now Veronica Mars is going to be a movie on the big screen, Yancey, because of Kickstarter. I think that's amazing. That's right. Next Friday, it'll open in theaters and it'll be available on iTunes and places like that. Mm -hmm. This was something that Rob Thomas and Kristen Bell, the creator and star of Veronica Mars, have been wanting to do for years. And for six years, they've been told, no, people so, don't care. How do you guys make money? Because Kickstarter is a business. How do you make money? Yeah, we're, we are a, a for-profit company. Uh, if a project is successfully funded, raises the amount of money it needs, we charge 5% of what they raised. Mm -hmm. uh, and that is our only source of revenue, but we've been a sustainable company in the black for about three and a half years. You know, I was reading about you that you, you like your job so much, as we all do here, that it doesn't even feel like work. You go to work and you're just energized every single day. Is it really true? you really feel that? Uh, it is true. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. look at your I smile. Have, I, have I know, it's very <laughs> genuine. I mean, all of us, there's, there's 79 of us who work at Kickstarter. It's a and small group. It's a yeah. small group, but we have the privilege of helping people with yeah. their ideas and getting to talk to people about something they're excited about is just an amazing honor. And yeah, it's the greatest job in the world. I, one of your favorite projects or something you love is this public space telescope. Yeah. Tell us about that. Yeah, there's this project called the ARCID. This is from uh, a group of former NASA scientists, people who worked on the Curiosity rover, and they had this idea that they were going to try to make a telescope that would be owned and controlled by the public. Mm. So it got funded on Kickstarter for a couple million dollars, and people will be able to decide where the thing gets pointed once it gets up there mm. in space. So this is one of those things, you know, this, right. is, this is putting all of us out, out in orbit mm. and allowing us to be a part of this. So I, that's definitely one of my favorite things. What, what don't you fund? Uh, really, the only thing that you don't see on Kickstarter are charitable projects. Oh. So the site is reserved for people making creative things, and that's pretty much anything you can imagine. But we are a for-profit company, so I think it would be wrong for us to make money off of someone's medical expenses or something like that. Uh, so we are focused just on that, but really anything creative, anything f that might come from your imagination. Sounds like a venture capitalist, though, Yancey. You're saying, no, mm. we're not that. Mm -hmm. No, I just think that you need it. to have some sort of constraints. I and also. It. You know, I, I, we like the idea that there's a place in the world focused just on creativity and the yeah. human imagination yeah. and those sorts of inspiring things. Trying, trying to think of you. a good idea to send your way. Thank you, Yancey. All right, thank really you. Really good to see you. I ain't got nothing yet. <laughs> good to see you. <laughs>